When they're saying uh, this was 4.5, they want you to use partial quotient. That means that you have to figure out what's the closest you could come to try to estimate how many times 4 goes into 2918. So I'm going to say, well, I know 4 times 7 equals 28. So that's going to take care of this. And I got 28 by looking at these first two digits. So I know it's going to be 7, but I don't want to get to 28. I want to get to 2,800, right? And we know that this 7 right here is only going to get us to 28. So I'm missing two zeros. So it's not going to be a 7. It's going to be a 700. So if I did 4 times 700, that's going to get me to 2,800, which is pretty close, right? We are trying to get to 2,900, and we're already at 2,800. So I know that the first part was 700, right? Now I have to subtract this 2,918 minus 2,800 equals 118. My next step is to try to estimate how many 4's fit into 118. Well, I know 4 times 25 is 100, so that's pretty close. I'm just going to use that. So now, I'm at 100, and 118 minus 100 is 18. Now I say, how many 4's can fit into an 18? Well, I know 4 times 4 is 16, so that gets me pretty close, right? Yeah. And then 4 goes into 2. I can't do that. So now I know that whatever's left over if I can't fit another one of these in there, that's my remainder. So my remainder is 2. So now my answer is 700 plus 25 plus 4. And I know that 700 plus 25 plus 4 equals 2, uh, sorry, 729, and then I have to add in this remainder, remainder 2. Does that kind of make sense? Do you remember learning that from your teacher? Yeah. Okay, so I think maybe you need some more practice with it. Do you think that's true? Yeah. Okay, so let's try this one. How many nines do you think fit into 230? So you're going to try to use a fact family. Nine goes into 23 or less how many times? We can't go over, right? We have to stay under. Uh, nine. Um. What do you think? Nine times something equals 23 or less. Um. Uh, 18? Yeah, so, but it's not nine times 18. It's nine times mm -hmm. what? Uh -huh. 181. 80? Uh, no, so 9 times 2 is 18, right? So I'm going to use that fact family. But it's not 18 that we need. It's 180. So this isn't really a 2. It's a 20. This just gets us to understand 
what we're estimating. Does that make sense to you? So yeah. we're not trying to get to 23. We're trying to get to 230. Now I do a subtraction. Are you writing all this down, honey? No. Okay. How about just pay attention to this, and then I'll give you time to write it down after. Um. Or you can just write it down when you watch the video. So 13 minus 8 is 5, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So now I say how many 9s fit into a 50 without going over. 9 times what is 50 or less? Um, 9 times... 9 times... Wait, 9 times 50? No, we're 9 times something equals 50. Oh, um, 9... Take a guess. Nine times what? Um, Were you going to say? Uh, yeah, nine times five. So nine times five is 45. I like to use a highlighter to do this, but you can also just underline it or circle it. It's fine. And then we have a remainder of five. Can nine go into five? Um, no. So that's our remainder. And then these right here, we add together. 20 plus 5 equals 25, remainder 5. How about if you do it with this? 3 goes into 790. I want you to write it down and tell me what you would do step by step. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to show you another way to do this. So this one is not a partial product. This is just a multi-digit division. So you're going to say 4 goes into 2 zero times. 4 goes into 29 seven times. 7 times 4 is 28. 29 minus 28 is 1. Then you bring down this one. 4 goes into 11 2 times. 4 times 2 is 8. Then you do 3 because 11 minus 8 is 3. Bring down the 8. 4 goes into 38. Nine times. 38 minus 36 is 2, so it's remainder 2. So for this one, you do daddy, mommy, sister, brother, dog. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So my first step was divide. 4 goes into 29, which is division. 29 divided by 4 is 7. Now I multiply. 7 times 4 is 28. Now I subtract. 29 minus 28 is 1. Now I bring down. Now I divide again. 4 goes into 11 2 times. Now I multiply. 4 times 2 is 8. Now I subtract. 11 minus 8 is 3. Then I bring down again. 4 goes into 38 9 times. Now I multiply. 9 times 4 is 36. Now I subtract. 38 minus 36 equals 2. There's nothing more to bring down, so that's my remainder. Okay, Jack, I'm going to pause the video, and then you can do this one for me.